So I'm here with two England fans, also Chelsea and Man United fans. So, you know, you've got a little bit of club allegiance, club, club alliance. Which names were you upset about missing out on the plane to Germany? I would have taken Ben Chilwell um, and probably Reese James. I don't know how you can take Shaw, to be honest, if he's been out for the last three months and Chilwell's fit and ready to go. Reese James got sent off. As long as he stays fit, he should be the main right back in my eyes. Yeah, the Maguire thing for me was massive, I think. All right, albeit he was injured and all that, but I think for England, he's been brilliant, so that's going to be a big miss. Um, maybe a bit biased, but I think Rashford as well, not, not going. Now, I think with 20 minutes to go, you might nil-nil, 1-0 down. I'd much rather bring Rashford on than Gordon, but that book might be my bias towards Man United, but that's my opinion. Uh, but despite that, are you guys confident in Gareth Southgate? A lot of people think that he's been a little more brutal with this squad selection, which is a positive. People are hoping that he's going to be a little bit more brutal maybe with his tactics, his substitutions. You're feeling positive about Southgate? I actually weirdly like Southgate, to be honest. Um, he can't win. Uh, if, if he picks one player and then the other one comes in, it's like, how come you didn't pick that other player? So I think that England, I reckon that will win it. Yeah, no, I like Southgate and... Oh, at this um, time around, his selection has been a bit more brutal and they haven't got like, favouritism, but I'm uh, quietly confident. But I don't want to be too confident because of what happened in the last Euros, but I'm quite happy with it. Just the defence worries me a little bit. Uh, and when you look at the group, is there a player or a nation that worries you at all or are you feeling quite confident? Um, because this is England, we've seen it happen before where they've faced nations that you would expect them to, to beat. I do think Germany will be strong, purely because they're the hosts. Um, obviously they played a poor Scotland side last night, but um, <laughs> they did look very good. <laughs> you just offended some Scotland fans to the side of us, but it's, it's all good. <laughs> Scotland get battered. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I think in the group, I think Serbia's going to win. It wasn't that bad. We'll still win it. We're still going to win. Yeah. Well, Scotland is still, you're still feeling confident? Still feeling confident we're going to win. And you reckon Scotland could beat England? Oh, 100%, yeah. We could. could. Definitely. Does that mean that you would? You could, but you would I, I heard that many we win. We'd win. Mind games. We'd win it. <laughs> um, yeah, any, when you look at the group, do you feel confident looking at the group? Yeah, I think, I think how hard this game will be the Serbia game tomorrow. I think it's like a match of it, it's only causing the problems, but for Denmark, I'm hoping they will be the team they were three years ago, but yeah, I know confident, I think we'll win the group and then fingers crossed we get a nice draw then going forward. Denmark got that donkey for Man United, didn't they, up front? <laughs> What's his name again? Hoyland. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with Hoyland, thank you. <laughs> but, uh, when you look at the, um, when you look at England's team, who do you think is going to be the most important player for England? Um, I would go with. It's got to be Harry Kane. He's got to stay fit. If he, if he gets injured, we're screwed. Yeah, I'd probably second that with Kane, but I think Bellingham, I think the link to midfield and attack, I think he's going to be our biggest. If he stays fit, as for him, I think he'll be our main player. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.